Hi everyone, this is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. So, living in the United States right now, in June of 2020, there is unrest. We've just come through the pandemic. We're still in the, in the middle of it, for all intents and purposes. And now we have race relations really coming to a head. And so as everyone feels helpless, I can't help but go back to the Bible and think about what the weapons we have as Christians. And one of them is to pray. such a passive tool, weapon, that has been given to us, so we think, especially in our American mindset. Because there are times when you have to take things by force. But it is not meant to be at the detriment of prayer. And so when you sit down to pray, or at least when I sit down to pray, Sometimes I'm so flooded with overwhelm, I don't know how to pray. So, I thought it might be a help to the world if maybe I put my contribution through as some prayers that you can pray along with me. So here's day one of... I want to pray, now what? I'm going to read some verses to you. And then I'm going to pray over you as I pray over myself. Deuteronomy 10, 12. O Lord my God, may I fear you, walk in all your ways, love you, and serve you with all of my heart and with all of my soul. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 20. My body is a temple of your Holy Spirit, who is in me and whom I have received from you, Lord God. I am not my own, for I was bought at a price. Therefore, may I glorify you in my body. Exodus 15, 13, and 17. In your unfailing love, you have led the people you have redeemed. In your strength, you have guided them to your holy dwelling. You have brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance. The place, O Lord, you made for your dwelling. The sanctuary, O Lord, your hands have established. Psalm 73, 25 to 28. But you are my strength, the strength of my heart, and my portion forever. Those who are far from you will perish. You have cut off all who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, it is good to be near you. I have made you, Lord God, my refuge, that I may tell of all of your works. I'll take all of those verses, as well as Psalm 1, and let's pray. So what I mean by prayer is, some people get on their knees, some people fold their hands, some people close their eyes. It's not really important how you posture yourself. It's what your heart is desiring. And even when you don't know how to pray or you have this prompting that you should pray, let that guide you more than the way you're doing it. Help me to reverence you, Lord God, and live in a way that pleases you. 
Help me to love you and serve you with all my heart and soul. Help me to focus on this one thing, forgetting life on earth and looking forward to what lies ahead, pressing on to reach the end of whatever race I am running and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling me. Help me to remember that my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in me and was given to me by God. This body does not belong to me, for God bought it with a high price. With your unfailing love, God, you lead the people you have redeemed. Lord, lead me and plant me on your mountains, the place, O Lord, reserved for your own dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hands have established. Whom have I in heaven but you? Help me to desire you, God, more than anything on earth. The soul may grow weak, but God, please, remain the strength of my heart. Lift me and remind me of how good it is to be near you, God. You are my shelter. You, God, do wonderful things. Help me to experience the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners or join in with mockers. Give me wisdom to delight in the law of the Lord, to meditate on it day and night. We know that those who delight in you, God, they are like trees planted along the riverbank bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. Thank you, Lord, for watching over the path of the godly, because the path of the wicked leads to destruction.